Okay, I think I solved the problem. Yeah, that was the issue. So what happened was, I forgot to return the true value there. Very, very simple error. You have to return true. So if, if you look down at the log cat, very carefully, you might not be able to see it very well. But if we pick up Apple, enter, exited, enter, exited, enter, exited. So as you see, you're going in over the view, it's firing off this event. And we let it go, it dropped. Job done. So that's that set up. And we know it's working. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little trick here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get an instance of the text view itself that we're dropping this onto. In order to do that, we're just going to very do a very simple thing. We're going to say text view. Target equals, and we're going to cast the text view from the view here. So this view here is the target view. So what happens is you drag when you drag it over this and drop it. This is the view here that's been dropped onto. So that's going to be our text view. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the view that we're dragging. Now remember in the first, maybe it might have been second video of this. When we created our drag, starting our drag, right? See this here, object, my local state. Now that object can actually be obtained again. See this view? View. So we put that view that into that object. So we can cast that view from our drag event back. So what we're going to say is we're going to say text view dragged equals. We're going to cast it. And it's going to be event dot get local state. This will return the same object. And because we passed in a view, we can cast it back to a view. And then we're simply going to set target dot set text. And we're just going to say dragged dot get text. Very simple. Oops. What now? So what that's going to do is it's going to get our two text views and it's going to set the text view of the target to the text view of the dropped item. So if we run this again, or when we or when we run this again, we will see the uh, thing dropping very easily. So if I pick a pair, see how I changed the pair? Dragon fruit, dragon fruit, apple, apple. And that's your drag and drop, ladies and gentlemen. So that's that. Um, I'm actually going to do a little video in the future. It's going to give you some announcements. I'm going to start doing some code casts. I announced these already. I'm going to be building the Pixel Enemy Android app, the new one. I've actually been building it. It's looking pretty good. And I'm going to build up some more. I'm also going to uh, show you why my keyboard is so feckin' loud <laughs> in a video because I've never shown you this. And I've got a lot of people commenting about it because I have a mechanical keyboard which is freaking loud, but it's a beauty to type on. And I'm also gonna start my HTML tutorial soon. So anyway, guys, as always, it's good. Oh, next Android talk video is going to be, we're gonna do is the Apache HTTP client. It's bundled with the Android system to create some really cool things. We're gonna use it mostly to, uh, cr to send and get data from the internet itself. Like we're gonna call down JSON data from YouTube and process it into a list, hopefully in our next set of videos. But anyway guys, as always, it's been good talk. We'll see you out there.